Hi, my name is Troy Beekel, Horticulture Specialist with Premier Tech. I want to talk to you about the Promix BK25. Before I go into it, I want to ask you a couple questions. Do you want a growing media with moderate weight, but also good drainage? Do you want a growing media that ties up little to no nitrogen? If that's the case, Promix BK25 would be your answer. So what are the applications for using the Promix BK25? First, let me explain what the name means. BK represents the word bark without the letters AR in it. And the number following represents the percentage of bark that's included in the product. So the Promix BK25 can be used for flowering annuals, vegetables, herbs, mums, perennials, even small fruit. And you can use that in any size pack or any size containers starting with large cell packs, like 606s or larger, pots, hanging baskets, or planters. Basically, it's an all-purpose greenhouse growing media that's designed for ornamentals. The BK25 is made in our Virginia plant, so it's only available in the East Central United States. Promix BK25 is formulated with 50 to 60 percent Canadian sphagnum peat moss, 25 percent processed yellow pine bark, which is added for weight and drainage, and it's also screened at a half inch minus. We also add in perlite to increase drainage and in introduce more air porosity. A wetting agent, which is there to help the peat moss, which is normally hydrophobic, to actually absorb water. Dolomitic limestone is added to adjust the pH to 5.2 to 6.2. However, it typically lands around 5.4 to 5.9. Starter fertilizer charge that includes gypsum is added to provide nutrients for up to seven days of feeding. The starting electrical conductivity is running around 1.5 to 2.5 millimoles per centimeter. So therefore, we do recommend beginning fertilization a week after planting. So the features of the Promix BK25. So as I mentioned, we do have processed pine bark in there and perlite. These two work together to help improve drainage and increase the air porosity of the growing media. Also another feature, it has moderate to high water holding capacity for a bark growing media and also has a, a little bit of bulk density, which is good for helping to prevent pots from tipping over in outdoor production, but still light enough to be able to move plants from greenhouse to greenhouse and for shipping. The product has good aeration, which is great for low light growing conditions. And the Promix BK25 comes in two active ingredient options, the first being Promix BK25 Mycorrhizae or the standard Promix BK25. The mycorrhizae is a natural endomycorrhizal fungi that basically grows out beyond the root system to acquire extra water and nutrients, particularly phosphorus, copper, manganese, and zinc, and bring it back to the plant roots where the plant roots are not present. So the benefits of the BK25, first of all, it is easy to use with a wide range of crop applications. It's truly kind of an all-purpose bark mix. It's quality tested to ensure uniformity from bag to bag, from season to season. If you have the mycorrhizae included, it will help improve nutrient acquisition, and it could potentially save you money by reducing fertilizer application rates. Tips when using the Promix BK25. First of all, we recommend beginning fertilization within seven days after planting. The starter fertilizer that we do add to the product is consumed by natural microorganisms that come with both the peat moss and the bark. So as a result, we do recommend that if the product is coming to the six month range, you might see there's a reduced fertilizer charge. You might want to bump up the feed a little bit or just add some feed right from planting. We do recommend using the Promix BK25 within six to nine months after the date of manufacturing for two reasons. One, loss of the starter fertilizer charge and also potential loss of wetting agent. I want to thank you for listening.